Americans. We're staying in the Midwest with Mary Immaculate College, College's Teacher Educators Group and their expert mentor, Kathleen Horgan. And they're going to do this through ethnodrama. Looking forward to this. Good morning, everybody. It's an absolute pleasure to be here this morning uh, to celebrate with you all uh, in this very historic room on this great day. And this presentation attempts to capture some of, I suppose, the essence of our experiences in Mary Immaculate College as we developed a collaborative portfolio. And our portfolio documents the backgrounds, the beliefs, the experiences and the learnings of four lecturers who engaged as a community of practice to collaboratively design, develop, assess and reflect on a module entitled Parent Professional Partnerships. The module aimed to explore and expand on the beliefs, assumptions and understandings of student teachers about working with parents and other professionals um, as they engaged in the context of the learning needs and well-being of children with special educational needs. Our collaborative portfolio embraces the professional development framework and it uses the metaphor of the dance to give texture and depth to the interactions and the experiences and the, and the bonds and the relationships that developed between us over time. So the dance cast includes the four lecturers mentioned in the slide, but the cast also includes three parents, Avril, Emer, and Catherine, and other professionals who were involved in the module, as well as the students who contributed enormously to its evolution and to the learnings which arose from it. Our portfolio is presented as a woven tapestry of reflections and insights which document and, pre and present our own personal and professional development from the perspective of each of the four authors. And it is comprised of four acts. Act one, beginning dance. I believe teaching and learning are like dance partners, where the relationship between the two determines how beautiful and successful the experience will be. I believe in the dignity of each human person and the right of each one of us to reach our potential and live a good life. Kelly Robinson tells a wonderful story about Death Valley in the USA, where almost nothing grows because of the intense heat. In the winter of 2004, the conditions changed. And instead of the usual two inches of rain, six inches of rain fell. As a result, something extraordinary happened. Something that happens only once in a lifetime. Death Valley, in the spring of 2005, became a valley of flowers. The seeds that were always on the floor of the valley lying dormant woke up. This serves as a reminder to us that when the right conditions are created, we can all realize our potential. The framework helped us create the Act 2, finding our rhythm. I want to be a teacher who voices what I never voiced. The challenges and the mistakes I made as a teacher I continue to make so that the students may be inspired to pick themselves up when they fall, particularly as we need teachers. In the first part of our module, I had a 
the final act, the legacy of the dance. Leaving time for reflection at the end of each lecture was something we strongly believed in, but something that we often found difficult because of time constraints. However, we committed to and persisted with reflective practice sessions after each class. We sat in a circle and talked about what we had learned in any session. We shared ideas, questions and differences. But how could we go further? Where might the dance take us? In learning to dance, I learned to lead and to follow, to follow and to lead. I learned how to dance with others and to allow others to dance with me. None of us entered this space as skilled dancers. We became skilled dancers by learning how to dance with each other, to follow the note, the beat, the insistent sound, the sudden turn. The dance could be fast, the dance could be slow, but the dance was never boring. It is said that in order to dance the dance of the Sufis, one has to be a believer, to believe in and to value each other, to hear and to listen to each other and to self. Thank you very much.